hello. Um, we'll be talking about the modular control rig for Unreal 5.4, which is the newest version of Unreal Engine that's just released recently. So the modular control rig is a new way of rigging your character inside the engine. It um, automatically detects um, points that of the a biped character and lets you insert um, parts of the human skeleton that is like already done by preset. Going back to the engines, if you go to like edit and plugins, the control rig modules is where this um, plugin will be and you need to make sure that this is loaded. So it's also said like experimental currently. First, import your character. So the character I did, I did a custom um, mesh for myself and then imported it, it into um, Mixamo. And then afterwards, like, I want to like import it into Unreal. And when importing, you need to make sure this is a skeletal mesh. If it is a static mesh, it will not, it will be treated as a usual object. It will do nothing. For a maximal mesh, like there's a skeletal mesh here and there's also a skeleton, but we will not use the skeleton as like we're going to build our own. To create a modular rig for it, you need to right click on the skeletal mesh. You would create a modular rig here, so it will, after creating, if you double click on it, it will show up this modular rig tab. So we ran into the problem that realized game engine wasn't recording any of the pop-up um, tabs that were showing up. But when you just open um, up modular rig, first like it shows us the compiler reload, which you can just um, exit out. And by default, it appears like this is the spine socket that it detects the root of where the character is. And it wants you to drag and drop these modules, these presets that are recreated, into the skeleton. So if you drag the spine here, you can see that it shows like these other um, sockets too. And the reason, like if you've seen other um, videos introducing this function, um, it usually Unreal detects where these um, sockets, like the arm, the shoulders, like where these things should be and then place these like sockets over there automatically for you to um, put in stuff. So because this is a custom character that like wasn't built for Unreal, I think that's why by preset it's like missing some of the parts that um, is quite critical and that will like maybe will cause problems like after you like put in everything for here like you need to manually define like the end and start of each of these bones in order to continue to find end bone if you've done some rigging this is just like the ends below their neck so which will be signed too and it starts above the hip part so it's fine and then they see like it automatically creates these controls for the rig. And also like for here, like after you define these, like it builds off um, due to like what you've made. So it appears like here you want to, it, it wants you to put in the neck socket, shoulder socket, and the side. So you would just simply put these inside the required ones and I'm gonna drag something that it doesn't need yet. <laughs> so I put in the leg. I will speed up this process because it is quite time consuming. And like if you put something not inside here, but you dropped it around here, you just need to undo and re put it inside. So after you put all of these sockets inside, you need to define manually in the module part, like where all of these parts, like what what are are these parts inside the like actual rig you want to build. So because this functions for a biped character, it has this preset um character like body parts, like where you should put each things inside. So it can calculate where like these joints should be in the mesh we have. 
So for Psi, this is connected to the right socket. So this is for the right leg. If you want to find something, you can just like search it here. And we don't have the chest bone or the pelvis, but we can just add it in like for like spine too, just to make it more um, detectable. And we got the setup and then it shows, oh, I think I've made a problem here. Yeah, actually, I think I did not make a problem. It's just detecting this. Yeah, so if you recompile it, it will show up to what it looks like now. So now it wants you to put in the foot module. So now we can test up the modular rig inside Unreal. And as you see, there are like hand joints which move. And for the body, the spine, slowly. Okay. And yeah, that's what we have. And I think like the the leg joints because like our character, it did not detect. It thinks there is only one bone for the leg. It can't see like detect where the knees are, which why like the knee joints they're like they're really down here. They can't really define where it is. I think these are the parts where like on this feature should like improve on if you could rig out your um custom meshes like inside an engine the unreal engine using that like really fast um feature that would be really great and it would improve like a lot of people experience when rigging these characters for games. And that's all. Thank you.